What's up, guys? It's Lego Hobo 910 here with another Lego review, and today I'm joined by my little brother. Hi. So today we're going to be reviewing the service station set. Let's get right into the review. This is a bike, and it has some wheels and tires you can't pop out. Can't like really awesome, but the whole thing is made out of pieces. So the body looks awesome, the lights look awesome, and the tires look awesome. And the dude looks really awesome, so... So Bye. yeah, this is the bike, and it's just a generic Lego bike. Fits one minifig, we'll get into doing a closer review of this minifig later. So now we have this red car. What do you have to say about it? It's electric. Yeah, this is an electric car because the set actually comes with an electric char charger, car charger. That's what this is for. You attach it there, or it can be a gas car if you want. It seats one. You might be able to tightly fit two. Just a pretty generic car design. There's really nothing wrong with it. Just, just a very generic car. And also, it has these little hooks on the front and back for the tow truck, which we'll show you next. The next vehicle is the tow, tow truck. So this is a tow truck. It's a pretty simple blue tow truck. Nothing really amazing about it. It has this tow arm, which is on click hinges with just a very simple hook. Can seat one minifig, and as always with Lego vehicles, the roof comes off to fit it. It has a hammer and a wrench on the side. Uses like a, one of those car bodies and just pretty simple. So what do you have to say about it? What's the coolest part about it? The lights look awesome because it has the white and the orange. Yeah. And as I told you earlier, it can use those hooks to tow the car front and back. I find the back works a bit better. The last vehicle is a street sweeper. So this is a street sweeper, and it's just kind of a pretty decent design. There are some really cool things about it, and then there are some things that are kind of bad, but they kind of can't be fixed the like the only bad thing I can find is these bristles they easily get tangled up in hair and carpet so just don't play with this on carpet I guess but rolls around like all the other vehicles and it has this really cool like piping detailing just using three of those one by two plates with bars on each side fits one one minifig comes with a broom shovel has one of those cool slanted glass pieces and the back when you open up the back there's a crate, so you can do all sorts of things with this crate, like you could just put in random garbage looking pieces that you have, or the extra pieces, so what do you think about it? It looks good, because it looks brown. What's your favorite thing about the street sweeper? That it has the bristles. Though this does use quite a lot of stickers, a lot more than it should, it has a lot of stickers on the back there. And overall, the set is quite sticker intensive, and also it's jointed in the middle using just one of those uh, one-way hinge joints, and then has a ball joint for the sweeping arm. Now, the last small element before we get to the big set itself is this sign. It's a very colorful road sign with Octan's colors, red, green, and white. And it just has a few stickers for the sign. Well, actually, a lot of stickers. Shop, open 24-7, electric car charger, and gas. And then has the Octane logo up there, and that's two stickers. Though from the back, it really doesn't look that good. That's one way they could have improved it, is making it more double-sided. And, yeah, overall, I think it's a great sign, and it's a great idea that could be used many different ways and it's a cool concept. What's your favorite thing and what, what do you have to say about it? The grass looks awesome and it can hitch on like that and that and that. Yeah. Now here's the main actual service station itself. I think it's a, overall I think the service station is a pretty cool design and it looks really nice though there are a few things that they could have improved on and it's just really cool overall. What do you think of it? Like, what what do you think overall? It looks good with... And the one good thing, it comes with two instruction books for you can build one thing and another thing. Yeah, we're going to get to that later, though. Okay. 
So we're just going to start on the outside in the front here. And as you can see, it just has some gas pumps there using just a, like a hose piece with one of those nozzle pieces attached and then computers and stuff that you can do it with and these gas tanks which come off pretty easily. I'll fix that later and also something I've noticed is these hoses come off easily like if you're trying to get the gas pump out the, you kind of have to take it out in two pieces the hose just kind of pops off and as you can see it's a double sided pump and then if we look more at the front there's a brown crate and also this is elevator bit and has kind of a smooth and ramp look out here is the electric char charger which as you can see can be used very simply like this to charge the car and then it just has a numerous amount, uh, amount of stickers there. And then there's this sign here. One is an advertisement for Lego. One is just the Lego News. It says daily, the Lego News. And here's where one of the things I don't like about the set comes in. Right here, it's kind of cramped and it's kind of hard to fit a minifig. And then also, if you look at the glass, there's some signs. And yeah, what do you think? I just need to swallow that water, but one thing, I like the Coca-Cola bottles. Yeah, those blue bottles, he thinks they're Coca-Cola bottles inside. And then there's also the octane sign up there and some lights. Now, time to get to the inside. If we turn around, we can get to the inside. Pretty much a normal Lego setup where the back is open. And as you can see, there's a cash register and a shelf of bottles. He thinks that they're Coca-Cola bottles. Then here, there's a shelf that just clips on. On the top there's just a gray cheese slope kind of meant to represent some. I'm not sure how well you can see this on the shelf but it's a printed Lego set tile. There there's just like some tan box miscellaneous stuff. Here's the cash register, uh, computer screen and a uh, keyboard so that's kind of the behind the desk area. What do you think? Those pizza place looks awesome. Yeah now we're going on to the pizza place. There's these chair pieces on one by two rounded bricks meant to kind of look like elevated chairs. Then there's this table. I'm not sure what this piece is called, but using that with then a one, uh, two by two, not one by two, gray, light gray piece. And then it has a simple printed pizza tile. This is a street pizza. As you can see, just a pretty generic orange outfit for construction worker like people and then a blue hat just it's not really too special but it's a decent minifigure there's nothing bad about it it's just not super special so now we have this woman customer which is one of my favorite minifigures in this set it's my second favorite minifigure she has that generic lego cd torso which i've seen many times some light bluey gray pants a uh, just pretty generic woman face with a brown ponytail and she has that little necklace. It's one of the more cool minifigures in the set. I'm not sure why, but I just like the way she looks. And the designers did a really good job on her. What do you think? Her hair looks awesome. So on to the next minifigure. Now from my second favorite minifigure in the set to my first favorite. He's an Octane employee at the service station. I kind of see him as doing most of the counter work, as well as the other dude who we're going to do next, do most of the manual labor outside. He just has an Octane badge in his pocket there. He has a paper and a pen, a nice button-up shirt, Octane logo on the back. Pretty generic smooth hair piece, pretty generic face, and just dark blue pants. What do you think? That dark blue pants looks awesome. Do you have anything else that you think? The hands and face look really awesome, but one more thing, the face. So now on to the last minifigure. He's the other Octane worker, and as you can see, since the pants and shirt match in color, he wears more of a jumpsuit. That's why I see him as working outside, because the jumpsuit keeps him clear from all the oil he's exposed to. It's the exact same torso as the other Octane worker. Blue cap, just like the Street Sweeper, and then just a pretty generically used face. So a pretty generic minifigure overall. Once again, nothing special, but there's nothing bad. What do you think? The detail on the back and front look awesome. 
So overall, I think this is a great set. Even though the minifigures are fairly generic, though the sweet street, street sweeper, not sweet street, oh gosh, it feels kind of out of place. And also this set's a uh, two-in-one. There's a second instruction book showing you how to build it in a different way. And this set has around 500 pieces, so you would expect it to be around $50, but it's $90. So I think the, the second instruction book brought the price up, but I don't think it should have brought it up that much. It slightly justifies the high price, but not really. So what do you think about the set? What, what's the best part of all of it and what's cool? The whole thing. The whole thing. What else do you like? What's cooler? The bike. Peace.